the heat gets in there and it stays in there. Today in Grand Forks, for the second day in a row, five different schools were forced to dismiss early because of excessive heat. The superintendent tells us some classrooms are exceeding 90 degrees, but relief is likely years away. Valley News Team's Aaron Walling brings us the story. So just really miserable for everybody in there. Sarah Dobervoni is a paraprofessional at Viking Middle School, one of the schools in Grand Forks without air conditioning. While the shorter school days due to the heat in the buildings is a frustration for educators like Dobervoni, the impacts in the classroom can also be felt. Kids definitely get crankier. Their behaviors act up a little bit more. Even kids that don't normally act up, like it's just so hot and sticky in there. And like even as an adult, like I get a headache. I don't feel very good. So I imagine they feel the same way. I'm probably even worse. So it's just really hard for them to learn in when all they can think about is how hot they are. The problem with heat is nothing new in Grand Forks. Aaron Birke was a student in the district in the 80s and 90s and remembers the hot days vividly. It's miserable. As a student, we hated it. You're tired. You, you can't focus. You know, when I'm hot and tired as an adult, I'm cranky. I don't want to be there. I avoid it and I can leave. I can go do, I can move to another room. I can move to another building. I can say, hey, this is too much and I'm, I'm walking away. You can't do that as a student. According to the district superintendent, Terry Brenner, some of the classrooms exceed 90 degrees. Viking Middle School being the hottest. We had kids going home sick. Uh, we had kids going home with headaches. We had kids going home uh, who were nauseous. Uh, I heard from a couple of parents uh, regarding those situations and they're just really not uh, good learning environments at all. Some people on our Facebook page have posed questions like, why not use fans or just open windows? Brenner says they're already doing that. He says staff open the windows early in the morning and run fans, but it isn't enough. If you go in a sauna and you shut the door and you turn a fan on to blow air on you, all you're doing is just blowing hot air around. But a fix is likely years away. As Brenner says, they're facing challenges of getting labor and materials. Dover Volney hopes it's sooner rather than later. Each year it's just getting hotter and hotter. In Grand Forks, Aaron Walling, Fallon News Live. Tomorrow is another early dismissal day for the five impacted schools. You can find more details on that on our website, valleynewslive.com. Just click on the story.